So the essentials of the original bullet journal system are a notebook and a pen. But hello team, today we are looking at my essential bullet journal supplies. I've broken this down into three parts, being the bare necessities, my staples, and the nice to haves. And everything we talk about can be found linked in the description box below, along with some sneaky discount codes, just in case you wanted to get yourself anything. Let's have a look at those supplies though. For my bare necessities, these are the supplies that if I didn't have them, I wouldn't be bullet journaling. If I were to try and tackle bullet journaling without these, I, I literally couldn't do it. <laughs> we have two supplies for this list, and unsurprisingly, they are a notebook and a pen. My notebooks of choice are those from Archer and Olive. Typically, I lean towards using the A5 notebooks, but this year I've been trying out a couple of other sizes too. I lean towards the faux leather notebooks as my preference, but I've also got a good collection of their linen covers too. For the pen that makes up one of my bare necessity supplies, my preference is always for black ink, and I'm pretty picky when it comes to this. I really want slash need the ink to be black black, like Weller black. I don't want to go over it with an eraser or something and it end up being a kind of grey colour. My current preference for writing pen in my journal is the Papermate Inkjoy Gel Pen. It's a retractable ballpoint pen, meaning that it stands up well to the higher pressure that I sometimes apply in my heavy handedness. While only the black pen makes my list of essentials, there are a range of colours for this type of pen too. They aren't waterproof, but for my bare necessities bullet journaling, that's not really a problem. So the essentials of the original bullet journal system are a notebook and a pen, but I do like to use some other things in my typical bullet journaling practice. These are the items that I would consider to be staples, and I use them pretty much any time I'm doing any monthly, weekly, or daily planning. The first of these are my Tombow dual brush markers. They feature in pretty much every setup I do, and they're a great way to add colour to my layouts, whether that be for function or decoration. I got these really early on into my bullet journaling journey, buying the then full 96 pen set, which was not cheap, so I am glad that these are something that I do consistently use, unlike my Marlet liners, which I also bought when I started bullet journaling. As these Tombow markers are water-based, I do typically like to use a waterproof black pen for any line work that goes alongside the coloured sections. For these I have two options, one being the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pens in the XS, S, F and M sizes, which are long-term favourites of mine. But some new-to-me favourites are the Sakura Pigma Micron Pens, which come in a wider range of sizes. I've really been enjoying using these, and they're slowly becoming more of a staple for me. My next staple item is this ruler. I did used to have a smaller one, but I really needed the ruler to be long enough to go the full length of my page. 20 centimeters is the perfect size for me, as the grid boxes in my journal span 19 centimeters. I also like this one because it's see-through, meaning I can easily line up the markings with the dock grid in my notebook, and if I want to do lines that are at a right angle to each other, that's straightforward too. Just line up the division marks of the ruler along the first line when you go to put in the second. My fourth staple item for my bullet journaling are these dot markers. Getting these was very much just combating FOMO rather than thinking I genuinely needed them, but ever since I received them, they have become one of my most used supplies. I enjoy using them on my monthly log to highlight the day numbers, on my habit tracker to mark in my habit completion, to make the bullet points of my lists stand out, and of course they can also be used for decoration. When setting up my layouts, I don't typically go in with pen first, so our next couple of staple items are a pencil and an eraser. The pencil that I primarily use is this 2H Faber-Castell pencil, which I like because it has a lighter graphite. This makes less visible marks when I'm penciling in, and makes them easier to erase. The other item is my now naked eraser from Stettler. I do technically also have a Stettler mechanical pencil, which is good for smaller lines, but as it comes to a finer point, I'm more likely to effectively dent my page while I'm using it, unless I'm applying really light pressure. Our next staple item is washi tape, but not likely for the reason you might think. Often in my setups, I like to have boxes or sections of colour that have crisp, clean edges. 
So for this, I like to use basic washi tape to protect my page from the pen as I color those sections in. Then I just pull it off the page when I'm finished. The bare necessities and staples are effectively what I would consider my essential bullet journal supplies, but there are some other items that I use pretty consistently. This is my nice to have list, or the ones that either make my journaling practice easier to do, making things faster, quicker to set up, or they just make the process more enjoyable or fun. Those would be my circle stencil, which makes drawing circles that are actually circular way faster and easier. My Stettler Tri Plus Fineliners, which I use mainly to add thinner colored writing to my pages. Decorative washi tape, with my preference being the tapes that are at least two and a half centimeters wide from the washi tape shop. They make for a quick and easy way to add decoration to your layouts. And then my Creative Memories Corner Rounder, which is a paper punch that trims the corners of paper to a rounded shape. I use this one a lot when I stick things into the corners of my journal, so I don't have to fiddle around with trimming anything that hangs over the edge. Any other supplies I have are really just a bonus, but I would love to hear what are your essential bullet journal supplies? Let us know in the comments. As always team, thank you for watching, and until next time, bye!